everybody. I'm here the day before Cornhucket in Nebraska. Just wrapped up an interview with Jacob Theme. Yo. And figured it'd be really fun since he literally just built a new bike the other day to do a bike check with him and just run through everything he's got on his bike. So, Jacob, can you tell me about your bike? Yeah, let's just dive right into it. We can start up top. Um, Right now I'm riding the s and Hoder grips. I've actually rode these grips for a very long time. Because they're the best. Uh, they are very, <laughs> very good grips. And a lot of these parts I have been riding, there's some new ones, but a lot of them stayed the same from when I was younger. Like the same rise bars, like you said, the same offset. So yeah, the bars, um, they're new bars to me, but they're the same spec. They're 925 rise and they are 29 wide, I've never cut my bars I've always just rode them what they come I feel like sometimes I do catch way out and it has saved me from just passing away um, then on to the stem I have the new nowhere stem but Carl found an old cap from my signature one with him so we slapped that one on so that's that's really cool I'm glad he found that and it worked out because I just love that I love the design I mean you can see it it's got like the missing link. Yep. But it has like my initials on it. So like that's so cool to look back on again. And uh, yeah, I love it. Obviously the headset and bottom bracket is just a basic. They're all really the same. Forks are Odyssey R25. Again, I've rode this fork literally from the moment I built my first 20 inch. Like I have had the same fork the whole time. I don't see myself switching. I like the R25 compared to what R32 they have. Or 15, or yeah. Or 15, yeah, I feel like this just suits my style of riding, especially when it comes to like tech. The offset 25 really makes it easier for me to do some of those tech tricks. Um, the tires are new, they're a little bit bigger. They're the Odyssey. Path Pro. Yep, Path Pro, they're 225. So usually I ride 2.1. But after this context, uh, contest next month, I have some time off. So I wanted to go with a little bit bigger tire because I want to start filming a video part. So I want to do a lot more tech. And I noticed a uh, tremendous help with a little bit bigger tire when it comes to like foot jam tricks. So that's why I went with a little bit bigger. Rims really stayed the same. I've been riding the Odyssey Hazard Lights for a couple years now. They're very strong, laced to uh, tie spokes and then the front hub, I went with an Odyssey because Carl gets a really good hookup with Odyssey at the shop. So it was easy for me to get. And yeah, that's new to me, but pretty much the same. Like not much different when it comes to hubs. And then I got some of these now. Got some pegs on here. Brought the pegs back. Again, just because I want to start filming more stuff that's different. I'm on the Free Agent Sandman frame. I've been on this frame for a couple of years now. I've been with Free Agent. They're I love the frame. It, uh, it's finally released to the public now to buy and ride. So we've been riding the prototypes for a while and I like the frame. It has a nice short back end for tail whip tricks, spin tricks. The head tube angle is nice for tech. So I enjoy this frame. I don't see me switching anytime soon. The seat is just a stranger butterfly seat. I mean, nothing really behind it. I think butterflies are dope. I feel like it fit the vibe of the bike. Cinema seat post, just basic. Carl had it at the shop. And then now down to the cranks and the sprocket. This is the nowhere sprocket. It's 28 tooth. I've been riding this one for again, a couple years now. So Carl's slowly getting like new parts, new designs. So it's cool to like switch it up to what new designs he has. Cranks are new to me, but they're really the same as I was riding before. They are 165. And uh, I've always liked a shorter crank. I rode 170s for a little bit. I didn't notice too much of a difference, but I like a shorter crank. It sits nicely on my foot. I have a small foot, so it sits perfect when I catch there to do like whip bar stuff. Um, these pedals, I believe, are new to BMX in general, right? The theories? The Alienation made them first, but there's a couple companies okay. that are making them now, but yeah. Yeah, they're just simple, clean design. Um, I've always rode metal pedals, so this is new to me. It's plastic with metal pins, which, I mean, might as well. Like, it's really the same, if not a little lighter. Like, it has a nice axle in it. Like, Sealed bearings. Yeah, like, it's just a good light pedal. And uh, sometimes I just cruise the local without pads on, too. 
So like slipping a pedal sometimes, like definitely feels a little better with a plastic base. Um, shadow chain, just basic. You know, it's a good, reliable chain. And yeah, this is the biggest change to my bike that I've had probably since I was on an 18 inch. I got the Z coaster. My 18 inch actually had three pegs and a free coaster. So like it's new, but not really. 20 inch wise it is new. So I'm excited to try and learn some new fakie tricks and see what I can get creative with on the Z coaster. And it still has the cassette aspect of it too when I need it to for like engagement wise pedaling out of contest, I guess. So not much different, but a couple little things. I really like how this bike turned out. And again, I want to say massive thank you to Carl at Nowhere and local bike shop because this bike wouldn't be here without him and free agent. So this is freaking sick. I love this bike. Love the colorway. I'm stoked on it. Yeah, the color. I mean, it's cool. The whites are all perfect with each other and yeah. set it off. I like it. I've never had a black and white bike. So I think it's something different, something cool. And you built the whole thing Everything, out of the every bike shop. was ordered here besides the spokes. I yeah. ordered spokes through Albies just because that's really the only place to get Thai spokes, I believe. But yeah, otherwise the whole bike was built through the shop. Me and him sat down, picked out what parts I wanted to order. Came in a week later. He helped me build it. Cole Mason helped me build it. Like, it's just cool to come back here and build a complete bike at a bike shop in Nebraska. Like, that was never a thing before this. This like, attached to a free indoor skate yeah, park. Like, that is not, if you understand Nebraska, like that is not something that you can just go and do at bike shops locally. Like, yeah. it's so surreal to like come here and do this. Cause I built my last two bikes here. Like it is just so like wholesome feeling. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. Awesome. It's like full circle kind of thing. It is full circle. Like it's cool that I get to come here and just ride and build bikes and stuff yeah and and our whole entire interview covers like all of yeah, that stuff so exactly. you can watch that if you haven't yet but i was kind of curious i mean you mentioned that you've been riding the same geometry bars and forks and and i'm sure the frame is right. not super Very far similar. off from what you've been riding like do you feel like you're pretty particular about those things for your riding yeah i would definitely say like i pick these parts these parts specifically for yeah my style of riding and i'm so like in tune with it that like if you change it yeah, yeah like it's a new bike but like i can still do the same stuff because i'm just that used to it so i do definitely keep it pretty much the same but that being said like that can get boring sometimes that's why i'm like stoked to have like the mm. coaster aspect i put pegs on like because I grew up riding like peg tricks and stuff, but I just ended up taking them off. I don't really know why. I think just the whole park thing. But yeah, I definitely am excited to have new little things on a bike. But for the most part, yeah, it's the same just because I like it like that. Awesome. So uh, is Free Agent the only company you're working with aside from like the Nowhere situation? Yeah, so Free Agent's the only part sponsor, like bike sponsor wise I have. Um, that's why I think it's cool that I get to choose the parts that I want to ride and I got to build it with Carl. So like, yeah, dope. Not Any... saying I wouldn't take a parts deal or something, but <laughs> like it's, it's cool He's that available. I have available. I am available. He's available. <laughs> but no, it's cool. Yeah. Sure. Is there anybody outside of, uh, parts and bike stuff that you are working with? Yeah. I work with a pad company called Gain. Um, Ethica hooks it up. It's like a clothing company so that's cool but yeah for the most part just free agent ethica uh, sh the shoe company called stray i'm working with which is again something new and refreshing for bmx that's a skate company so yeah trying to think a little bit outside the box and get creative with companies that i truly vibe with and want to work with sweet man well uh I'll say if anyone wants to learn more about Jacob or hear more about him, you know, you follow him online and watch the interview that we did. But uh, I appreciate you going through your bike with me. Yeah, and thanks, Brant. I'm stoked awesome. to see you riding this weekend it's and tomorrow. Be a good time. Yeah. Be freaking awesome. So, but, where can people follow you online if they want to check your stuff yeah, out? Check out my Instagram. It's just Jacob underscore theme. TikTok as well. Snapchat. I do a lot of like um, story stuff on Snapchat. So, yeah, check it out. Sweet. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Brant. Goodbye. See ya.